Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Library Management System Project Tutorial for Beginner. So this will be the last video of this tutorial series. So in this tutorial, we'll fix a few things here and there. But before that, let's just go through auto edit throughout the tutorial series. So here, uh, this is a library management system. So here, what we need is that we show all the book data from the database table over here. We let the user see the book details. Here you can see few book details option over here. If you just click on it, it will show us the book details over here with the uh, author name, author emails, the book description and everything. And we also let the user apply to borrow the book from the library option. So here you can see apply to borrow button and if the user click on this option and if the user is not logged in it will take the user to the login page so let me just log in as a user over here one two three four five six seven eight we'll give the password and then click login and there you can see a user is logged in over here here you can see so if we just go down here you can see apply to borrow option if you just click on it or uh, let me just click on it here you can see currently available zero it means there is no book available so if we now click on it it will show a message that not enough book is available so let's go down and let's choose this book here you can see there is currently book available is 49 and if we now click over here apply to borrow it will show us a message that a request is sent to the admin to, to borrow this book. So a request is sent to the admin and admin will decide whether to accept or reject the request. So right now let's just uh, go to the explore option and in the explore we show all the book and user can search the book by book title and also by author name and here you can see the categories for the book and if I now click on adventure it will show the book only in the adventure category if I click on story it will show the book uh, whose category is story and uh, let's just search a book over here let's say Steven and press enter and it will show this book or let's show it here MA and it will show this book so and here you can see my history if you now click on my history we'll be able to see all the book we return uh, we applied for borrow there you can see this book is approved to borrow and this request was ejected and here the user can also cancel the borrow request that they make so right now let's just go to the admin panel so let me just log out from here and let's log into the admin panel on two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and click login. And there you can see you are currently in the admin panel. And in the admin panel, we can see the total number of user, total books, uh, total borrow book, total book written over here. And if we go to the category, from here we can add a category, we can update or delete any categories. And if we go to the book section, here you can see add books. From here we can add any book from here and we can also see those book over here here you can see show books and here we can see all the book from here admin can delete or update anything about the book and here you can see borrow request here admin can see all the request made by the user admin can approve reject or change the book status to return over here as well so those are all the things we did throughout the tutorial series so right now in this tutorial we are going to fix a few things uh, so first of all uh, here you can see in the header section we have this so we are not using it so we'll just remove this so for it let's go back to our code and we'll just directly go to our resource then views and inside views we have the admin and inside admin we have header.blade.php so from the header let's just remove uh, this part English English mega okay so let's go back and let me just go down and here you can see mega option so we are not using it so let's just remove to that from here to here and here you can see the language section we are not using that as well so we'll remove it as well so save 
then let me just refresh here and there you go now it looks better so right now let's just log out from here and after this let's fix this part in the sidebar we have some demo over here which we are not using let's also remove those as well so let's go back to our code and this time we'll go to the sidebar.blade.php let me go down here you can see extras demo so we'll remove those save then refresh here and there you go right now it looks a lot clean so let's just log out from here and currently we are in the home page so right now here for this home uh, button we are going to add the url which we did not add and also for this logo we'll add the url so for it let's go back to our code again and this time we'll go to our home and inside home we have the header.blade.php and from the header.blade.php we'll just directly go to the logo section so here you can see this is the logo section so inside the h step we're going to mention the root view we'll give to second bracket then we say here url to first bracket to single quotation and slash uh, so whenever someone click on the logo it will always call the root view so right now if we just uh, refresh and click on this logo there gets it took us to the or it keep us to the root view so let's do the same thing for the home button as well so let's go back and let me go down and here you can see we have the home button so over here we are going to give to second bracket then we we'll say url to first bracket to single quotation slash so it will do the same thing and we are not using the uh, these details and also create eos so let's just remove that part as well and let's save it and after that we are going to refresh over here and there you go so right now we are going to do one more thing and that is uh, we are going to add middleware for each row so let's just go to our uh, route then web.php and in the previous tutorial we talk about middleware so right now we are going to add middleware for admin controller so here you can see middleware or admin so let me just copy this and after that we are going to add this middleware for each admin controller so uh, here you can see add book this is for admin adding the book we will just paste it over here uh, this is for storing the book then uh, we are going to add middleware for this deleting book editing book then updating book Uh, this is for bone controller uh, let me go down uh, there you can see admin controller let me just select those together let me go in and talk and uh, here you can see admin controller let me select it there and here and those two as well we select it and we paste this middleware auth admin so what this will do is that it will not let user have access to the admin page and there is one more over here so let's just save it and right now uh, let me just refresh over here and let's just log in as a user then give the password press enter so here you can see we are currently logged in as a user and right now if we just uh, go to the admin page which is this on category base it will not let the user have access to that base for example if we just say in the urn category page and press enter which is a admin page it will keep the user on the root view so yeah we have fixed a few things and we have talked about what we did throughout our tutorial series so thank you very much for watching i hope you like this tutorial if you want to suggest me any new tutorial series just let me know in the comment section. I really appreciate that as well. Make sure to subscribe for future videos. And I hope to see you in the future tutorials.